This mid-month energy report is something new that I started last month on Patreon, and each month they'll also see ad-free articles on Patreon. You can see right here there are different tiers. 111 gets your name listed on Patreon on our Wall of Gratitude on both Patreon and on the homepage of N5D. Then we have different tiers where, for example, on the activated, you get your name listed on the Wall of Gratitude, official N5D 3x3 decal, ad-free articles, a behind-the-scenes video, and one exclusive N5D article each month. And each tier has more and more. For example, the 1111 one, which this video will be on, has everything that I listed above, plus a behind-the-scenes video and or unpublished observations video each month from me, as well as the exclusive mid-month energy report video. And you can see that as you go up higher in galactic rank, <laughs> Uh, there's more benefits that you receive and everyone that has subscribed to N5D Patreon, I'm so grateful and thankful of your support. We also have ad space available on N5D.com. There's the top banner available and then there's one right above the Schumann resonance chart, which is above the title of every article as well, right here. And then on the right hand side, we have several placements for ads starting at $100 a month. I'm going to be talking a little bit later about the Schumann Resonance. But first, I want to get to a comment made about me on the last video I did. And they were basically complaining about me doing this for the money. Okay, yeah, I'm showing Patreon and I'm showing that we do have ad space. Well, you know, ever since I've been shadow banned, it's really hard to get by every month. And everything I put out there, 99% of it is free. Probably greater than that, 99.9% .9 is free. Um, and yeah, there are ads on N5D, but that's how I try to pay my bills. My lease runs out at the end of August. I'm not sure where I'm going or where I'll be after that. I might be living out of my car. It's been really tough to get by. But it's I find that comment really insane because you know I've I've been doing this since April of 2009 for over now over 10 years, uh, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I just keep putting that information out there, um, anywhere between 22 to you know 30 some odd articles a week. Uh, we just keep putting that information out there. And despite being shadow banned, uh, we're still reaching a lot of people, um, but we could be reaching a lot more. And because of the shadow banning, it's hard to make ends meet. And that's why I'm doing what I do um, with the ads, ad space on in 5 d and with the Patreon. So anything is greatly appreciated. Um, we also have, if you want, if you can, if you see it within your heart, a donation button on N5D as well. Now, of course, I would never withhold any important information. That's always going to be free on N5D and on our N5D YouTube channel. So be sure you subscribe to either and or both uh, so you're kept in the loop at all times. I have a daily and weekly newsletter on N5D.com. So pick and choose uh, whichever one you want to stay in touch with, that's the one you can have. Um, so it's important that we uh, keep these ties together, uh, that we are able to communicate with one another as this shadow banning and deplatforming is getting to an insane pace right now. So here's an example of being shadow banned. If you go to Google and type in N5D, you'll see 862,000 results. <laughs> That's pretty close to a million uh, results for N5D. As I said, I've been doing this since April of 2009 for 10 years. And when you look at the links that are listed in here, 
there's not one article from N5D except for the link to the main website right here. Now, if we go to tools and let's just go for the past week, let's see what comes up there. So we have our Patreon page, uh, Dreamweaver shared an, uh, an article, Blue Dragon Journal shared an article. But as you can see, nothing on the front page in the past week was published according to Google on M5D. Let's go to page two. And once again, not one article, even though I published 30 plus articles in the past week on N5D. That's why it's important to subscribe or visit the N5D Facebook page or my personal Facebook page every day, because as you can see, I post all throughout the day, but many people don't see any of this due to shadow banning. And this is just scrolling back, scrolling back, scrolling back. This is down to the 13th, uh, two days ago. You can see all the stuff that I post, but hardly anyone sees it. Now we're back to June 11th, but as you can see, I post two, three, four, five things every day different articles on both here and Zentasia.com. Now Zentasia is a website that I just updated. I got a new template and it looks amazing. Uh, you can see just some of the articles that are on here that I posted recently. There's also a Facebook group for Zentasia. That's Z-E-N-T-A-S-I-A. -A, and it's interactive. Everybody can post on there. So I've got a great group of moderators in there as well check that out but yeah check out zentasia.com the website looks fantastic the template uploads quickly everything looks amazing on it so definitely check that out so i want to show you guys this t-shirt isn't that cool does that look familiar too this image right here well it should because let's go here that's the image is from my N5D profile uh, picture. Let me pop that picture up. And what she did was she took the picture and was able to make a silk screen out of it. And not only did she do the tie dye, which is an amazing job, but this woman from galacticfire.com made this shirt for me. Now, originally I posted a video when my daughter Brittany and I made tie-dye t-shirts. And on that post, she asked me if I would like a t-shirt that she made. And I said, sure. And then we started communicating via uh, private message. So her name is Sonia, and as I mentioned, she's from galacticfire.com. And you can find her on Twitter at galacticfire, G-A-L-A-C-T-E-C-F-I-R-E, at galacticfire. And so we started communicating via private message, and she came up with three different designs on the font and asked me basically which one do you like and I like this one because it kind of looked like hard rock <laughs> I was just so impressed though that number one with the quality of the t-shirt itself it's just amazing I, I love this kind of print the bullseye print and number two how she was able to do the silk screen on top of that and uh, so we just ended up communicating and there here's the actual shirt that I'm wearing right now so I thought that was really cool and uh, it's 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 amazing how good of a job she did I know it looks more bluish green there uh, I absolutely love the colors. she asked me what my favorite colors were and I, I said blue or aqua blue um, you know it's like a like a cerulean blue with an aqua blue and man she nailed it. This is absolutely beautiful. I, I, I love this t-shirt and I'm so grateful. So she sent that to me 
and she sent me along with this. This is pretty cool too. I'm actually very flattered that uh, she has me listed here under Heroes of Humanity. Um, here, uh, Galactic, where is it? Galacticfire.com. But she actually has that on her flyer, the N5D shirt, which you can find on her website. Let me take you over to that. So here we are on her website, Galactic Fire Creative, and that's galacticfire.com, G-A-L-A-C-T-E-C-F-I-R-E.com, Galactic Fire. And if you go to goods up here, you'll be taken to this page where you can find that t-shirt right here. And she sells it for $20, which is an amazing price. I know it's really hard to do a t-shirt like this. It takes a lot of time materials and to do this on top of it to put the n5d logo on there with a go within and the meditation pose so you can get this on her website as a black t-shirt like this or it's available in a tie-dye color of your choice so as i mentioned go to galacticfire.com and check her out i think she did an amazing job what do you guys think So some of the things I, I have personally learned about tie-dyeing since I've been doing this is that, number one, don't be afraid to use too much dye, a lot of dye. Not necessarily too much, but a lot. Don't under-dye because it can come out not as well as what it could be if you use a little bit more dye. Of course, no tie-dye shirt is ever horrible. They're always <laughs> exactly what they should be for that particular day. Another thing I learned was you can wash like colored tie dye shirts together. I know I've read on some websites and saw on some tutorials that you shouldn't do that, but you can do that as long as they are like colors. One thing I learned too that I haven't tried yet, that's gonna, this is gonna be on my next attempt of tie dyeing, and I learned this from Sonia who made the shirt for me, but she said to use soda ash to soak your 100% cotton shirts in soda ash water beforehand. And then one thing I was doing wrong, which is why my tie dyes came out more like a pastel, I was letting them sit for eight hours. So the soda ash allows the dye to absorb better into the the, the material and then by leaving it in longer for 24 hours you're further allowing it to settle in better and get a deeper darker color so you'll if actually if you want the pastel colors don't use the soda ash water and only let them sit for eight hours so those are a few things that I learned from my tie-dye experiences and I'll be doing a little bit more here in the very near future so let's move on to the mid-month energy report for june 2019 for our patreon subscribers as well as for those joining us on youtube right now now i had an interesting experience yesterday i open up my front door and there's a rabbit right there <laughs> you know i thought okay what's the odds of a rabbit being right in front of my door as if it's trick-or-treating you know and you know, I always look at the, the meaning and the symbolism of why animals come into my life, but I didn't necessarily do that last night because I was just so busy and I've been working so hard. So today, I open up my garage door and I look out and there's that same rabbit about 12 feet away from me in the road, um, just where I live. It's, it's in a community where he was safe. He wasn't in the middle of a main main street or anything like that, but he was safe there. But I saw him again. And I thought, okay, well, now I better go check this out. So that, that was my message. So I checked out the, the meaning for rabbit symbolism. And it said the rabbit animal has always been a symbol of prosperity, abundance, and fertility. The rabbit symbolism of longevity is very true because of its ability to reproduce and build an ancestry. Rabbits are cute, cuddly, and very approachable, just like me. 
If you have the rabbit totem in your life, it means that you have no problem expressing happiness and affection when it comes to people you love. Another rabbit meaning is speed. You are quick on your feet when it comes to doing things that you love and you are fast in recognizing opportunities that will get you closer to your goals. But that does not mean that you are comfortable with having the spotlight on you. Isn't that the truth? You know, especially anyone who knows me, you know, I'm, I'm like the king of introverts. I don't like the spotlight on me. So as a matter of fact, I'm gonna take this spotlight off me right now. <laughs> the rabbit animal also represents shyness and modesty and that there are still things in this world that you will hesitate to do because of it. Now, getting back to here, another rabbit meaning is speed. I keep getting the, this message to slow down, you know, whether it's on a street sign or somebody actually saying, slow down, I get that message. So I think that's another important message is to pay attention, to appreciate those little things that are going on in your life. Rabbit spirit animal represents perception and awareness, just like the magpie spirit meaning. With a rabbit, you have a keen understanding of people and how the world works, and you do your best to use this to your advantage. So that's the rabbit message I got. What's this? Seeing a rabbit mean love is coming. The rabbit symbolism brings luck and positivity when it comes to romantic and love-making affairs, just like the cat symbolism. Well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> Too busy working. But I did find another article that mentioned something really interesting about transformation. When rabbit appears, it may be letting you know that personal transformation is needed at this time. While rabbit has survived for centuries, at the end of the day, they are some of the biggest victims of the animal kingdom. So it's time to transform. Now I got a message from Rosie Neal recently, and I'm trying to figure out how this all ties in. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. Uh, she gave me a call and said that she had a vision. And I'm just reading what she told me. She had a vision of blue energy emitting from me. It was from my neck up. And it was emanating a sky blue frequency. And it was like a moving living energy is what she said. I found that really interesting. Um, I'm not sure how that ties into everything right now. I've meditated on it and I'm still drawing blanks. There's something I'm not allowed to know or see at this time. Wondering if anyone else had those kind of visions, not necessarily of me, but of anyone having that kind of energy emanating from them. I do find it interesting though that I had this shirt made for me, which is basically a sky blue and it's emanating energy from the center outwards. I thought that was pretty cool. So how have you guys felt in the past two weeks since the beginning? of June or actually since the last mid-month energy report. I know a lot of people are going through a lot of highs and lows, bifurcation, purging, transmutation. Myself, I've been going through a lot. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I my blood pressure is elevated. I've dropped it eight points since changing a few things in my life. Now, I've been taking some THC oil. I'm not going to mention what the brand is, but I, I've been taking three drops with, and it's 500 milligrams a drop. It's very potent. I've been taking three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening, and that seems to be helping. Um, I'm also changing my diet around too. I don't eat very much, if at all, bread. If I do eat bread, it's going to be organic and wheat. Uh, I, but I, I try to keep everything healthy and organic. I'm actually eating more fruits and vegetables, <laughs> which is very uncharacteristic of me. I do love fruit, but vegetables, not so much. But I've been eating salads and uh, you know lettuce, cucumbers, stuff like that. So I also had a, uh, I bought a blood glucose monitoring system and I found that my blood glucose is going anywhere from 92 to 133. Uh, so 
the higher levels are basically pre-diabetic. Um, today I did it and it was 96, which is under 100, which is good. So whatever, whatever I'm doing is it seems to be working. So a nurse friend of mine recommended drinking six ounces of palm. It's pomegranate juice. It comes in a, this bulbous kind of bottle, and you can get the 60 ounce bottle over at Costco for like I don't know seven dollars or something like that. So she recommended drinking six ounces of pomegranate juice first thing in the morning. Of course, that's after I take my blood glu glucose reading. <laughs> uh, but so I've been doing that. And what she said, what she experimented on this was that she ended up losing weight because of that, uh, drinking six ounces of pomegranate juice the palm brand. I'm not sure if there's any difference of any other pomegranate juices, but she used that brand and she noticed she lost quite a bit of weight just by doing that. She didn't change her eating style else other than just incorporating pomegranate juice in the morning. So I started doing that too. Now I'm at the lowest I've ever been since, gosh, at least <laughs> close to 10 years, at least if not longer. I'm at 194 pounds, so I've lost, gosh, what, 30 some odd pounds uh, since I started watching what I'm eating and basically going on a protein diet. Although I have changed that around, I have incorporated fruits and vegetables in there. So with that weight loss, it's, it's great to have that kind of, and as you'll see in a little while, not putting on weight but it could be a good thing now I am taking supplements as I mentioned I'm, I'm doing the CBD oil um, three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening I'm also taking magnesium which is good for uh, the high blood pressure and the blood glucose as well as zinc so the magnesium I have the 500 milligrams of that and 50 milligrams of zinc I take apple cider vinegar capsules because I don't like the taste of apple cider vinegar. I have a bunch of apple cider, Bragg, uh, apple cider vinegar, organic, yada, yada, in my house. I have a lot of that, but even just a couple teaspoons in your water tastes horrible. But this, I can do. <laughs> so I take two of these every day, um, two tablets of Vita Raw, apple cider vinegar, it's clean, it's organic, good stuff. Then I also take ginseng, which is good for the high blood pressure. Another high blood pressure supplement is French Maritime Bark Extract. And then for just pain and whatever, it's, it's got more than, you know, a dozen positive things that it, it's, good, it's good for, but turmeric. And this one is 538 milligrams, two of these in the morning. So those are the supplements I take. Um, physically, what's going on? Last night, the leaky ear was just, you may as well have had a faucet on both ears. It was just coming out, coming out, coming out. What I end up doing is I'll take like a tissue and I'll fold it up. And I'll just stick my finger in there and rub it back and forth a little. And... Well, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it, I don't know. It's kind of gross. You can see the wetness right there from that ear. And that wasn't even the worst ear. Yesterday, this ear was, was worse. The left ear, even though they were both leaking pretty bad. And, you know, that's, that's from the left ear. So I still have the leaky ear going on right now. Uh, don't know what I can do. And if it's even fixable, maybe it is like a Luna Ash talked about maybe it is one of the assumption ascension symptoms and I know a lot of other people are still going through that as well this has been going on for quite a while for me getting goopy eye in the left eye in particular uh, right eye seems to be okay not as much but in the left eye definitely this you know that goopy kind of crap coming out of it that's been going on the biggest thing for me though is tired 
Oh my God, I've been so friggin' tired lately. Um, and you wonder, you know, is it the new moon? Is it the full moon? Is it the solstice energies? Is it, are, is it attributed to these waves that are coming through? Bam, bam, bam. Is it a con conglomeration of all the above? Chances are, yes, that's what it is. And there's times where, you know, I'll have to take a nap at 11.30 in the morning, you know, or one o'clock in the afternoon. Or, and even after taking a nap, I'll be in bed by like 8.30, that evening, just tired, 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 and very intense dreams. I had a dream last night, for example. I was with somebody that was famous, some movie actor, actress, something like that. But they were oblivious to everything that was going on with like the pedophilia stuff. They weren't like a well-known person, and they hadn't gone that far into the rabbit hole where they basically had to sell their soul. So what I learned from that dream is not all of them are bad <laughs> apples. You know, some of them, probably all the A-list people, they probably had to do things and see things and experience things that aren't so good. But some of the other ones are, are just good people trying to do what they do best and they love acting. So, you know, that, that's what I got from the dream. So in this dream, they were just like, fun people and I forgot what we were doing. We might have been playing bocce ball, <laughs> but I don't remember who these people were. It was a couple. I was just hanging out with them and we were having a great time. So another thing too is I've been waking up like every couple hours, but this has been happening ever since my daughter was born. Basically, I used to sleep all night. I used to sleep like a rock. And then my daughter was born and as soon as she went, eh, <laughs> or meh, <laughs> or had a sniffle or a cough, bam, I'd be up out of bed checking on her. You know, she turns 25 next month. And 25 years later, I still can't sleep. <laughs> and I'm not blaming my daughter. I, you know, she's the best thing in the world. I, I love her so much. But it's just, I haven't been able to sleep. And maybe that's part of the price we pay for being parents. But I'm, I'm very grateful. I'd much rather have my daughter than... A good night's sleep so yeah but what sleeping for like every two hours and i you know and that's it i'll wake up and then i'll go back to sleep i'll wake up go back to sleep and i have to sleep on a special pillow it's one of those travel pillows that's kind of like horseshoe shaped and so i can put my ear in the center of that so i'm not getting that suctioning sound that i would get if my ear was directly on the pillow so so the next thing I want to cover is a video by Aluna Ash 9D that she put out on June 14th. Energy update, cosmic rays, incoming energy, biosphere shifts, and so on. And I'd like to play you a short clip from that, talk, where Aluna talks about the planet's biosphere, the, which is the aura of the planet, and three incoming waves of energies. So here's a brief clip from that video. So I wanted to talk about some of the shifts that are taking place energetically, some of the changes with the biosphere and the incoming energy. So there's some big changes that have taken place with the biosphere and the biosphere is the planet's aura. And what I've been seeing is with the planet's aura, there are these tubes, they almost look like the fibers that I speak about with the human aura. Um, there are channels or tubes of energy. These are also used as stargates and portals or interdimensional travel. But there's been this clearing that's been taking place with these channels within the biosphere. So these channels act as a natural recycling system to pull energy in and pull energy out. And it's this continuous feedback looping system of the planet. It's an energetic looping system or recycling system. And what's been happening with these last three waves, so the wave that started hitting the planetary field, the biosphere, and the atmosphere, May 30th and May 31st, and then the wave that came right after June 5th when it started hitting the biosphere, the atmosphere, and the planetary field, and then this most recent one that started hitting the biosphere, atmosphere, planetary field on the 13th of June yesterday, 
these waves have been creating this massive clearing within these channels of the biosphere. And it's bringing in this quantum light, which is similar to dark matter. Um, the only way I can describe it is dark matter, because it's the only way that I've been given <laughs> to describe it. So this energy that's coming in, people are really going to start feeling this. The downloads are going to start coming in more and more activations. The ones that are feeling these waves the most are the ones that have been activated. Their DNA or different, more parts of their DNA has been activated. So there are people that are awake and aware, but they're not fully feeling these waves that are coming in or talking about them. And it could just be because they have chosen not to experience that reality or they're just not hitting them in the same way. And then for others, it could be that they haven't had that activation, that DNA activation. So if you're feeling these waves intensely, you'll know what I'm talking about because they're right on time. Explain. These are three waves of energy, energies that have been happening. And two of them already happened, and now we have this one that's coming in right now that's going on. And these aren't the three waves that I explained uh, the, in my tidal wave vision that I had in a dream where these three waves come. Um, if you're not familiar with that, I had this dream where I saw this tidal wave coming. I was at the beach and I see a tidal wave coming. And what I ended up doing was I saw a beach house and I go inside of the beach house and the wave washes over the beach house. And I was not scared at any point in this uh, dream, just totally calm and relaxed. But I was standing by a window and I could actually put my hand through the window and touch the water and pull my hand back. So the wave washes over and then the water resides again and I go outside and I see another wave coming, a t tidal wave coming. And I turn around to go back into the house and I look in the other direction and there's another wave coming. And so I go into the house and once again, you know, the wave goes over me and water resides again. And I get out. And I remember that I left my truck at the top of this mountain. And number one, I don't own a truck. And number two, there's no mountains where I live, but it's all symbolism. So I go up to the mountain to look for my truck and the energy had changed completely. Everybody's walking around. There's this feeling of unconditional love that's going on. Uh, so what I saw that dream as being was these are waves of energy. They're not waves of water. That's nothing to fear. And it's a huge wave. You'll know when these waves go through, it's, it's going to be that distinguishable. Uh, those are just something to keep in mind of. I'll leave a link for that article in the more info section of this video. And I just want to remind you guys, to Aluna Ash 90's YouTube channel and that way you can keep up to date with her energy updates as well. So she's a wonderful, wonderful lady and uh, you'll enjoy her energy updates as much as I do. So here's an article by Rosie Neal that I published earlier this year. It's called This is What Happens as Your Light Body Activates and you can see in these pictures her skin just lighting up. And we'll scroll down to uh, a couple close-ups. Crystalline light body becomes activated. And that's what you're going to start seeing on people. The light will begin to show in the palms of your hands. You see that? The arm will become very shiny as the crystalline light body comes online. And you will see flecks and sparkles coming from people's skin. You will see vertical lines on your fingers palm up. The same vertical lines will appear on your fingernails. Here's a video that she did. You can see the glitter. And that's not glitter, that's just activation. And she goes on to say, and here's some of the things that you guys might be experiencing right now. What you might feel during the shift 
chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, involuntary bowel syndrome, migraines, light and noise sensitivity, vomiting, diarrhea, sinus issues, joint and muscular skeletal issues and pain, memory loss, difficulty with mental processing, loud ringing in the ears, issues with your eyes, voice patterns changing, and for many, a loss of appetite unless you are holding space to create or impact a huge shift in the collective. At this point, there will be weight gain. So moving on, number 11, DNA upgrades. Even the pictures that were taken some months ago have completely changed to a brand new level of light integration. The mitochondria is changing in form. The mitochondrial houses the DNA and RNA, and for some, it is becoming completely unrecognizable. Now I'll be covering DNA upgrades in the extended version of this energy report for Patreon subscribers. So let's continue moving on. Number 12, fatigue. Most in the advanced stages will need a great deal of rest. It will be one of the greatest things you can do for yourself. And this is why many of us need naps. And I was just talking about this earlier, about that need when these energy waves are coming through to sleep. Also keep in mind that when you nap, you're multidimensionally upgrading yourself. Number 13, weight gain. Many will be dealing with weight gain to make space to hold more light, which is needed to create the crystalline form. And that makes sense. It allows you to hold more light. You know, I've lost 30 pounds, but I think I have plenty of light left. Number 14, difficulty forming sentences. There will be some that will have a difficult time with sentence structure and others that will have a difficult time with clarity of thought. There is nothing in our past which will support all the changes that are happening to us in this ever present moment of now. And I've experienced this too, just clarity, trying to make a sentence that you know you could say a million times in the past, but all of a sudden you're having a difficult time getting it out. And number 15, moving, and, moving in and out of dimensions. There are many that are vacillating back between third dimension and fifth dimension and are having difficulties keeping a foot in both worlds. I've used this as an example. There's times where I've gone to the, to the grocery store and you're pushing your shopping cart around and you're looking perhaps what other people are buying. You might look in their cart and you'll see a bunch of crap, processed food and stuff like that. And they're walking around like zombies, you know, mouth is open and just like in a daze. But you'll make eye contact with somebody that you know is awake and aware. And you, you don't even have to say anything to that person. You just kind of like smile or nod, acknowledge them. And, and if you glance in their cart, chances are they have like organic food and stuff like that. You'll, it feels like you're moving in and out of dimensions. You're recognizing those at the higher vibratory level when that happens. So I'm gonna leave it off right there for our YouTube version of the mid-month energy report for June, 2019. Uh, you can watch the rest on Patreon for subscribers of 1111 or more. I just wanna thank everybody for joining us here, uh, for liking, subscribing, and sharing this video I want to remind everyone that there is ad space available on N5D. So if you have a product or a service that you'd like to advertise for as little as $100 a month, I'll leave a link below for that in the more info section. Uh, I'll be covering on Patreon, I'll be covering the DNA upgrades. I'll be going in depth on that, as well as uh, a Schumann resonance anomaly and some of the chemtrails that have been going on and what that's doing to humanity. And it might not be as bad as what you think. So on that note, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from N5D.com, namaste.